it's Julie from Happy Strong Home. It's a Saturday morning and Hubby and I are going to be doing a little home renovation project in our living room um, in our Cape style house. We have the stairwell with this accent wall here which we've always had painted a uh, lovely brick red. I still like the color but it doesn't really go with the new gray that we painted the walls um, which you can maybe see kind of on the sides behind me. So we're going to do something a little different. What we're doing is we've partnered with a company called Timber Chic and they make a wooden, um, a real reclaimed wood that you simply adhere to your wall to create a new um, surface. Here's some of the materials we're going to be using. This is real reclaimed wood. This is their freestone color. It's a dark color with a smooth wipeable surface. And um, it's sold in 20 square foot packages like this. It's still wrapped up. Um, and we're also going to be using these end cap pieces. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to be covering the wall from this edge all the way to the corner, which is why we're going to put the end caps on um, and then fill in the space between with these. And hopefully this will be a fairly simple project for us and we'll have a new uh, backdrop for our accent wall in just a couple hours. I'm gonna... All right, so the first thing that we need to do with um, applying our timber chic wood is prepare the wall for application and that involves sanding down the wall if there's any rough spots, using some tacky cloth to get rid of any dust and dirt. We took the baseboards off the bottom of the wall because we're going to apply right down to the um, floor so we can have a smooth uh, full surface. Um, we're going to uh, paint the little portions that will not be getting timber chic wood panels applied and then we're going to get started. All right. So um, one of the things we like to do before we adhere the wood to the wall is make sure we match the grains up and see how we like the look of the boards that are going to be next to each other because we don't want to have um, tons of dark boards next to each other. We want to intersperse the lighter and the darker boards. We don't want to have tons of knot holes near each other. We want to kind of spread those out as well. And then you just um, remove the adhesive and put it up flush. I'm going to go really close here. You want to make sure you're very flush to the board um, on boards on top and the side. And once you get the, those stickers ready, just kind of no going back from there. And then we press it on um, using a lot of pressure or your J roller, which we forgot to get. So we're just doing it ourselves. And I might run out and get a J roller later, and we'll go over the boards one more time. But so you can see we're about halfway done. The wall is coming together really nicely. I'm really thrilled with how this is working out. So you measure, measure twice, cut once. Here's this gorgeous, gorgeous wood grain here. I just love how this is turning out. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so sometimes you're going to need your miter saw to cut your piece to size. That's what we're doing here. And now you have a piece that's going to fit into your section here. Mm -hmm. 